My batteries are here, my switches are there, but I need to get power over to this side of the van without taking down the ceiling. Well, there's our problem. How do we get power from these switches to this cupboard without taking down the ceiling that Rebecca was so finely put up? So I've come up with a cunning plan. So the plan is to drill a hole in that side, right. thread this piece of plastic through from this side, attach a wire to that, and then pull it back through. Does any of that make sense? Let's just do it, shall we? <laughs> I love it when the plan comes together. Well, that worked so well, I decided to run another two cables through. One cable for the lights and another cable for our ceiling fan. But I will need to take one of these planks down so that I can, yeah, kind of connect the ceiling fan up and maybe put some lights down the centre as well as under the cupboards. Now because Rebecca's already built out this camper van, I recommended that she buy these flush fitting puck lights rather than the ones that are recessed. And the reason for this is because by fitting these, all she needs to do, well all I need to do, is drill one hole for this single wire to come through the ceiling and then we can simply screw these in place. And I've just so happens I've fitted some under the cupboard just so you can see what they look like. And I think they don't look too bad. Yeah, a simple solution to what could have been a major headache. Now I've fitted a bank of these switches underneath the cupboard so that Rebecca can charge her phone, go on her laptop when she's laying in bed, all that nice cosy stuff. Now here's the dilemma, the back of the switches have got this inline fuse, this is how they came. And this inline fuse is one of these little micro fuses. And I've had a look on this fuse and I can't see what rating it is. All I can see on there is that it says it's 240 volts which is a bit odd. So, for that reason, I'm simply going to just cut this off. Thus, and then wire, wire, connect these wires together and the other end of this power cable is gonna to go to our main fuse box where we can fit a fuse that we know what the rating is. If the fuse does ever blow, we know that Rebecca's gonna have a spare fuse rather than being left with this and no spare fuse. So that's what we're going to do. That's the plan. So I've wired up the lights above the cabinet and I've wired up the switch panel as well. So this is the real nice bit. Have a look at this. 
there you go looks really nice doesn't it it's a nice kind of blue that is if we flick this switch on those lights come on too now i think rebecca's really going to like that oh just so happens here she comes now you right? Hiya. come in and have a look at this see what you think okay there you go have a look at your switch panel oh yay that's really lovely Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Brilliant. Like yeah, I really now love it. Turn that, flick that switch closest to you. Look behind you. Oh, yes. Oh, those are fantastic. Yeah, I'm really yeah. pleased with those. Those are amazing. Yeah, yeah. good. Really good. Yeah. Okay, let's do the rest. Let's do it. <laughs> so I've now got lights under here. We've got lights under there. I've got two charge sockets back there. So all that's left to do is put some lights straight down the middle. And to do that, I do actually need to take some of the ceiling down. But luckily, one thing that Becky did do is have the foresight to remove the tongue from the tongue and groove. So this centre piece should, theoretically, come down. This one piece in the middle, and that's exactly where I'm going to put the lights. Straight down the middle. And the reason for that is because when you open these doors, oops, that's the only piece that's even actually visible. So that way, with these doors open, we we'll still have light inside the van. Right, let's get my screwdriver and see if that piece of timber will come down. Now, if this was my van, I'd be quite happy to leave that wiring as it is held to, held in place with just gaffer tape. But because I'm rewiring this van or wiring this van for Rebecca, I figured I'd better do it properly <laughs> and use some conduit. So I'm going to put this conduit up the side in the corner of this cabinet, and uh, because it's self adhesive, it should be quite straightforward. But uh, do I trust the self adhesive? We'll have to see. See if it's strong enough. If not, I'm going to try and staple it in place using my heavy duty staple gun. I'll tell you what, scrap that last comment about using a staple gun. There's absolutely no need. This stuff's super sticky. I mean, that is no way that's coming off of there. Once that's stuck down, yeah, that's not going anywhere. So I think we'll scrap the idea of staples. That looks so much better. Look at that, it looks really professional. I'm quite proud of that now. Maybe I should get some of that for my van. <laughs> well, two days later, I finally get around to finishing off fitting these lights. The reason it's taking so long is because Bob the Builder, Rebecca's dad, hijacked me to help fix the garage roof. As you'll see from this little clip. <laughs> <laughs> So I've come here to help Becky with her van and I've ended up helping Bob with his roof. So after that little escapade I did manage to fit the lights and it's all wired in now. I'm just going to get Rebecca to switch it on for the first time to see what she thinks. Hit the switch Rebecca. Okay, here we go. Woo. Fingers crossed it works. I've not tried <laughs> it myself yet. That's a fib I have really. I hope you have. Oh wow. <laughs> there you go. That looks amazing. Yeah? Yeah, like that? that's really good. Oh, and what good. happens when you open the doors? That's one thing I didn't try it. Does it make much difference? Oh, that's all right, isn't it? That's perfect. Yeah, because you've got yeah. these, it keeps it all nice and bright. Yeah, so you can get in what you want and then pop them down and it doesn't interfere with the, yeah, with the main light. Yeah, still see. And perfect. I've got little sockets at the back as well for you. Oh, great. Okay. So I can charge... Charge your phone. My phone. Charge your laptop. Laptop and turn it on as well. Oh great, yeah. that's brilliant. Yeah, you like yeah, that? That's brilliant, yeah, that's really good. And I've got them on both sides. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got the choice. Fascinating. Oh, you are a brilliant man. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so do I get a thumbs up? You do, you get a thumbs up from me. Yeah, definitely. Good. So there you go, if you like this video, please do give me the thumbs up, or give Rebecca a thumbs up. <laughs> Don't forget to stay tuned for more exciting escapades. Woo! Maybe we'll get to fit the water tank, or maybe not, who knows. <laughs> we'll find out. Thanks for watching, it's about half an hour. <laughs>
have to put a hole in that end, no, on that end, that side. What did I say? Jinx to myself. Oh, that's good.